this is not my mother. Let me explain. My mother has my sister. Children's Aid Society apprehends my sister. Then my mother moves to Timmins and has me. Okay. Then at the age of nine years old, my mother and I leave Timmins. We moved to Sudbury. And that meant she didn't have to be an aunt anymore. Now, my aunt never abused me in the sense that she abused me by getting off. She liked, I don't have to be around. You guys left when I, when you, you guys left. <laughs> so when I'm 15 years old and she's smiling like that in the photo, she's smiling because she's going right on. I don't have to put that much work into this, but I get the benefit of having these photos and rubbing it in my mom's face. So we leave when I'm nine. We come back. I come back when I'm 15 and she's smiling like that in the photo. Then later on, they need help with Russell because she's being abused by Russell. So she needs a break. She needs a break from Russell, Lucy. And they, they use my mom. And now that I've aged out, my aunt tells me, why did you have to go back? And my aunt just looked at it like this. Well, he lives in Toronto. Hopefully something happens to him. And then we can use Francine to take care of Lucy when she's getting older, like right now. They, they wanted my mom, but only when she didn't have her kids, so they didn't have to put work into it themselves. So they would have my mom, okay, helping with Lucy because she goes down there. A few years before I'm aging out, they need help. With Lucy goes all the way to Sudbury to get a break from Russell. Okay. And then I age out. And now it's, it's a matter of, well, we want you, but... We, you know, we want you for your help, but we don't want to help you with your kids to be an aunt to them. So what they need is for me to believe that this is her, my mom. So then I get upset and I leave. Okay. But it's not my mom. It's my aunt. Like I've explained. It's always been like this. I was born and then up until the age of nine and then we leave. And then it was like, right on. Because up until the age of nine, I was, I was always conveniently so far away. And she never complained about that. That she was too far away and she didn't get to spend enough time with me. She never complained to that to anybody. So up until the age of nine. Okay. And like I said, then you have this. I'm nine years old and I'm in Sudbury. I come back when I'm 15. It's pre-arranged, pre-planned, pre-paid by, by the Children's Aid Society themselves. They were like this. Oh, you want, you want to go visit Joe? Okay, we'll pre-pay that. Pre-pay, pre-plan. Okay. We'll pay for that. So when I'm in Timmins and I'm here, I see my aunt. Now, we take photos, and you can see the smile on her face. She's smiling because she's saying this. I get to take photos. I get to rub it in my sister's face later on, and even in his face, that we were there. We got the pictures and videos to prove it. Okay? They were just there in those ways. Oh, he happens to be around. Let's take a photo. They were just they're in those ways but they never called the children's aid society and say we're calling we would like thomas francine doesn't even know that we're calling we have no contact with her but we're calling we'd like thomas no they didn't do that now if i was never in care then you could say we couldn't get a hold of francine or or alex carl we couldn't get a hold of your mom and dad and you were with them we didn't have an outside you have Children's Aid you can contact. Because I was in Children's Aid's care. But they never tried. 
Now, I only mention them. You know, I, I could say I was abused by mom and dad and mom and dad. But when you tell someone you went into care because of mom and dad. Now, the only reason why I mention... Okay, I mentioned mom and dad, but then I go aunts, uncles, grandmothers. And then when you're in care, I look at, you know, they themselves, the Children's Aid Society themselves admit that it's difficult for them to find families willing to take on the commitment of adoption. So then I focus on that. Then I focus on create new legislation, guys, that make it where all parents have to get help, not just the ones who want their kids. And this would improve kids aging out and getting adopted and if they weren't adopted then they can go back to mom and dad and they were getting help all these years it would improve situations for kids that's the only reason why i mentioned the these this information i'm not i'm not um saying it's anybody's fault you know you could like you could say it's my mom's fault it's my aunt's fault it's this person's fault it's my dad's fault I'm not looking at faults. I'm just explaining what happened in the details. You know, because when you tell someone you didn't have mom and dad, they say that's rough. But when you say, hey, I didn't have mom and dad or aunts and uncles and brothers and sisters and, and yeah, aunts, uncles, grandmother, grandfather, when you, when you mention just mom and dad, people say that sounds rough. But when you say... I didn't have mom or dad or aunts or uncles, grandmothers, grandfathers. People get more of a clear picture. That must have been rough. Okay, and that's all I'm trying to do is help advance my case. I feel like if if you want me to not mention all of that, then you're trying to get me to not advance my case then you're trying to obstruct justice. Fuck you.